Good morning world. Hi, it's Hedda again. And here I am a um, couple of days after I made my Virgin video. Um, and then I was all dressed up because it was New Year, had my face on and what have you. But today, unfortunately, viewers, you are seeing the true me. Me with nothing on, no makeup, clean face, undone hair, hair in a hairband. This is me on a daily basis. Although there are some days you will see me with some makeup on. <sighs> now, having said that, I want to thank everybody who's subscribed so far. If there's anybody who's arrived that's new, hi, I'm Hedda. And uh, I'm not quite sure what my channel is going to be about, to be honest. I would like to cover some health issues that I suffer from myself that I know a lot of my friends also suffer from. Um, explained a little bit um, for those who may not understand why we act some ways that you might not understand and you then you'll understand a little bit better. Um, I'd like to talk about life in general. I'd like to talk about um, things that I find really interesting. I'd love to get your feedback on some of those things. Um, I'd I've also, this is something that's quite interested me in my life. Um, I'm 58. I was just had my birthday a few days ago. Um, and for the last 30 years, I have had the honour of being a, what you would call an online agony aunt. Um, sometimes complete strangers have just sent me a message and they've offloaded their problems and asked for some insight. And I've been able to help them in one way or another. And a long time ago, I realized that we don't laugh enough. Sometimes we don't even smile enough. Life can drag us down so hard and we tend to forget where the laughter is and where the time is to smile. Sorry if you can hear that, that's one of my cats. Um, you can't control cats, can you? You can tell the dog to sit down, but you can't tell a cat to sit down. Um, so I've had literally hundreds of people have come to me for help and I've thoroughly enjoyed helping each and every one of them. Um, and these people are like reason, season and lifetime. People come into your life for a reason. They have a question, they need an answer, and then they go happily on their way. Then you have people in your life for a season. They're there to, for the same reason as the first lot of people, reasons. But they stay around for a little while and, you know, they're just there for the laughs and the good times and then they just tend to drift away. And that's fine because while they're in your life, you can learn things from them and they can learn things from you. And it's all part of life experience. And then you've got the people who are in your life for a lifetime. And those are the people that I call my soul family. We all click. We all bounce off each other. We can say things that the other person's thinking. We're all on the same wavelength. We all feel down. We feel each other's pain. We can empathise with each other. And these people are there. They're, they're, they're just there for life. And believe me, every day I am very, very grateful for them. And that's another one of my cats that you can hear, if you can hear that, meow. Um, I have three cats, by the way. And sometimes they either decide to have a mad moment in the mornings, or they'll have one at like, two in the morning when nobody's awake. And by the time they're finished, everybody's awake. And if you're a cat owner, you know what I mean. So when people have come to me with the problems or issues... I've always treated them in, with the strictest confidence. So what I want to tell you is this. 
if anyone wants to send me a message, either in the comments or through um, DM or something like that, or they want to contact me, I will treat it with um, utmost confidentiality. Names will be changed and you never know, your question may be the same question that hundreds of other people have, but they may not have the courage to come out and speak. So you're going to be helping someone. Hopefully, whatever answer I can give, I'm not only going to be helping you, but I'll also be able to help other people as well. My main mission in life is to make people smile and to bring laughter. If I can make one person smile in one day, just one person every day, then I am a happy bunny, really, because smiling is good. Look at it. I mean, the whole face just lights up. And when you laugh, you know, all those endorphins come rushing through. It helps with pain. You know, they, they just have this. I don't, I'm, I'm not a scientist. I don't know how the body works. All I know is that when I laugh and when I smile, my pain levels drop. So I look for funny videos to watch or I'll watch my cats misbehaving for a while, or, you know, something my family says or does. It's funny, or my friends on Twitter, because I've got some of the funniest friends on Twitter. Honestly, they're amazing people. Um, so these are some of the things that I just wanted to throw around as to why I'm here, and the basic foundations of how I would like my channel to grow. Um... I also want to tell you a little bit about me. I have uh, a husband, a new husband. I'm married for the second time. I've been married for seven months now. Um, he, he doesn't understand social media. He's not on social media at all. And whenever I talk about social media, he gets this glassy look just comes over his face. So we'll let that go. And I have two adult children both have disabilities. Uh, my daughter is blind. My son is autistic. Um, but we all are very tight, very close, and we have the best life that we can have. And we try and laugh every day. You know, we all find different things to laugh about. Uh, life can get very hard sometimes because I have some health issues. I have fibromyalgia. Um, I have degenerative disc disease, um, my vertebrae are crumbling in my spine, in my neck and in my lower back, uh, I've got permanent sciatica, um, so you know morphine has become one of my best friends um, and it helps me get through the day but laughter also helps me get through the day and talking to people. Um, there are going to be some days where uh, I can't make a video because I can't get out of bed because the, the, the pain with the fibromyalgia and with my back stops me getting out and being around. But I do try as hard as I can to connect with people every single day. It's a lifeline for me. Um, I'm a Capricorn. I have Capricorn rising and I have a Taurus moon. So that's two lots of goats and a bull. You can imagine those three in a china shop. Um, I've My husband tells me I'm a bit of a freight train. You know, um, he says that when I go around having an opinion, everybody just ducks for cover. Uh, doesn't sound great, but what can you do? Um, I love cats as you know I've got three um I love ghost adventures I love the dead files um I do believe in spirits I do believe in the afterlife um I love watching anything to do with the paranormal um I also love Monty Python I'm huge on anything that makes me laugh um, 
can't remember off the top of my head about different comedians, but the one who is no longer with us, who I adored, is Robin Williams. I absolutely adored that man. In fact, my children actually called me Mrs. Doubtfire Part 2 because I remember my son a long time ago saying to me, Mummy, you look just like Mrs. Doubtfire when she takes a dress off. And you saw the body with the big boobs and the big tummy and what have you. And I remember at the time thinking, thanks, mate. But then I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought, I should have done the body cast for Robin Williams because it would have been a perfect fit. Anywho, I love Robin Williams uh, and I still watch his movies and I will adore him till whenever. The other huge love of my life is Star Trek. Um, I have um, this tattoo on my arm there. It's not a very well done tattoo, but that's my tattoo there. Um, so I was really happy about that. On top of my wedding cake, I had um, an acrylic live long and prosper little thing to stick on the top of topper. Um, oh, by the way, I do. Ha I only have two tattoos, by the way. That's the other one I have. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the... Um, Hi Israel, I am Israel, I am for Israel. So that's my star there. Um, and as you can see, I have this there because I'm a very, very proud British Jew and uh, I do uh, stand up against anti-Semitism in all its forms. But getting back to Star Trek, um, I, I collect all well, not all things Star Trek, just some. But um, one of the presents I got, at, because we also celebrate as well as Hanukkah in this household, I got a Vulcan bear. And it's the Live Long and Prosper bear with his little pointed ears. And I call him Sarek, who was Spock's father. Um, so that's that. In another video, I'll show you the other couple of softies that I have. I've got a Mr. Spock and I also have the Starship Enterprise which my my children got for me. So Sarek sits beside me. Not all the time. I'm, I'm replacing from time to time. Um, and I do collect some plushies. I don't have them everywhere and I don't collect dolls. Um, but ones that mean something to me, like him, they're precious. So that's basically enough about me I think um, if there's anything I can do for anybody please let me know I'll put my Twitter handle in the description box so if anybody wants to contact me on Twitter it'll be there if you want to send me a DM everything is kept in strictest confidence if I can help you I will if I can't I'll try and find somebody who can um, I apologise for the blank face and everything today and no makeup, you see me as I am, but didn't have the best day yesterday and I'm the sort of person that I am a whizzy wig. What you see is what you get. So this is me, this is Hedda. Thank you very, very much for watching. It's a real pleasure connecting with you. Um, I'd love to see what you've got to say in the comments. Um, and have a lovely, lovely day. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye for now. Bye.